Here's a question for you. What is redacted? Is it gaster? The night? Foreshadowing for the poor soul trapped in the unused space in Delta Ruins code? Why does it speak in lowercase windings? Let's dive deeper than any theorist ever has before and go over all the information we currently have about Redacted. Before we get started, spoilers for Undertale and Deltarune. Don't hassle people for using text-to-speech, and be nice to your fellow theorists when you disagree in the comments. Okay, how did we get here? Well, you know how you can edit the room number of your save file to 264 in order to reach entry 17, aka Gaster's room aka, the origin of the phrase, dark, darker, yet darker. And the spooky sound that plays whenever you use your phone in Deltarune's dark world? Alright, well, this is not the only time that Undertale uses the Wingdings font. Turns out, there is a secret NPC, located in room 272, who also speaks in Wingdings, known simply as, Redacted. Now, to redact something, is to basically edit it out of the finished product. Usually, you'll hear this word in regards to the text of a legal document, as, you know, sometimes information needs to be obscured for legal or security purposes. Most of you probably know this word from the SCP Foundation, as the whole gimmick around that site is the idea that some types of information are inherently hazardous just to be known about. So by naming this sprite, and room, redacted, Toby is basically saying, this used to exist, but I had to remove it which some have taken as evidence that, in addition to being scattered across time and space, W.D. Gaster may have been somehow removed from people's memories or awareness entirely, similar to the speech that Goner Kid gives about imagining a world in which you never existed and everything functions exactly the same without you. However, because access to Redacted is locked behind Toby's hacker's only dog check, the actual canonicity of this has always been a bit fuzzy and the fuzzy evidence waters get even murkier when we consider Toby's odd tendency to include Gaster, Mystery Man, and Redacted references in official Undertale merch only to suddenly remove, or, redact them. It could be argued that both of these potential Gaster depictions have a tendency to disappear without a trace, so you can see why there's a lot of fan debate regarding which of these sprites is the true Gaster sprite, or whether there even is such a thing to begin with. Given one of the NPCs describes him as shattered into pieces, and given that the redacted sprite shows evidence of having been scribbled over with paint tools to obscure its features. But, what does this have to do with the night? Well, brace yourself for this one, because to answer that question, we're going to have to dig into the secret, secret obscure Undertale data. Deep, deep within the game's code, there is an item simply called Stable, which, when interacted with, reads, It's a horse stable. Do you want to go inside? Choosing no closes the box instantly, but saying yes will reveal that it is locked, before suddenly dropping this creepy narration, saying that, Suddenly, from inside the redacted, you hear a... And then the dialogue abruptly ends. By referring to this as a horse stable initially, but then replacing the word with redacted later, this implies that the phrase, horse stable, has been redacted. And those of you who subscribe to Aussie's chess theory may remember, the horse in chess is officially known as the knight. Hence, if redacted is meant to be a reference to Gaster, then this would make Gaster the knight. I've also heard it argued by the very talented Omega Watt that Redacted might be a reference to the person calling out to us, trapped in the unused code, and or, potentially, Des, as this would provide an alternative explanation as to why the sprite seems to look like, to some people, a lady with long hair drooping over her face, and it would line up with her being cut content from Undertale, and, missing, in Deltarune. The Redacted sprite does play this song, Premonition, when approached a song which utilizes the same light motif as before the story, the song which plays on the file select screen after you beat either chapter of Deltarune.
This song is also heard when Sans talks to the player about the Echo Flowers, which is one of the very few places in the game that might potentially be referencing Des and Noel as a pair of sisters wishing on a star and dreaming of escaping the prison and going together to see a new world with shining lights. That said, I do take objection to the idea of this being more important or canon just because it is so narratively intriguing, as I personally find a lot of the cut content to be narratively fascinating. My favorite so far is the Mushroom NPC, who's anchored to the ground by their mycelium, and who longs to escape, not to the surface, but merely to the room beyond this one, as spending their whole life anchored to this spot has left them wondering and fantasizing about it for as long as they can remember. It's very easy to fall into the trap of assuming that playtesting is purely about fine-tuning the mechanics and combing for bugs. When really, narrative playtesting is just as important to the creation of a game as an idea that seems compelling in your head might not always have the intended effect once it's actually executed on. Based on the placeholder-like look of the sprites, the ghost-like fading that Redacted shares with Napstab look, the location of the associated files and flags, and the very unfinished feel of the code, my best current guess regarding Redacted is that when Toby started testing this, he didn't quite like the way it was coming out, so instead of wasting time trying to perfect a flaw idea, he likely just scrapped it and started over fresh with something else. If that were correct, then Redacted might be the precursor to the Mystery Man event, which behaves similarly. Or maybe even the pre-bird room, which, while also cut, is still accessible, without the use of hacking tools, simply by changing the room number to 123, as this is one of the few unused rooms that is not locked out by the dog check, a trait this room shares with entry 17. Then again, as mentioned before, Redacted is in some of the official Undertale merch, and who knows, I could be wrong. So, instead of dictating to you all the true meaning of Redacted, how about instead, I take you on a journey through the code to show you everything I can currently find about Redacted, the stable, and all the unanswered questions that surround it. The first challenge comes in simply trying to figure out where the horse stable is even meant to go. As all of the relevant code for it seems to skip over this rather crucial detail, leading to much speculation about its intended location. However, the stable's creation code provides coordinates for where it should be within its room, as well as the depth it's supposed to rest at. So in theory, we can just place the object in random rooms at those coordinates and see how it appears. Let's see. If we place it in the room with Sans's sentry station, it seems to line up perfectly with the spooky unexplained door behind Sans. Although, it also blocks Sans's sprite from view, which would be pretty weird, given that the code does bother to specify the stable's depth it would also make certain other features of this stable inaccessible, so we can probably safely cross this off the list. We can also cross the key shroom off of the list, since it clips through the wall at these coordinates. Same for the statue room, the legendary artifact room, and the fake hallway leading up to the mystery man. It technically works in the nice cream man's room, in the sense that it doesn't clip into any objects or walls, but it does also create a bit of an issue with the vibe of this room, not to jump too far ahead, but this stable was intended to have some unsettling properties that might create some tonal dissonance if they took place right next to the ice cream shop. It could go in the room right outside this shop, and its removal would actually make sense, as it would explain why this area over here is inaccessible, and seems to have been intended to be reached via a secret hidden passage through this wall, which is alluded to by both the telescope and the easter egg text about the beautiful gems along the south wall. There is also a functional echo flower over here. Although, since no text is specified for it, it just uses the same dialogue as the flower to its immediate right. But, I digress. The most common place I see this stable added is in Napstab Blook's yard. This is likely because the stable choice or dialogue is right before the dialogue of Blookie's house, which implies that it was written first. The code for this room also seems like it was originally supposed to contain a trash can with a key to the stable, which is barely visible to the naked eye. Once you have the key you can- Oh goodness. Oh geez, I didn't even use the key yet. Turns out simply having the key sets the stable quest flag to flag 3 and changes the open variable from 0 to 1, which summons the redacted sprite into the stable. And since it uses the same properties as Naps to look, it only becomes visible once the player approaches. However, if the stable were placed in the same room as the trash can, the coordinates tell us that it would be tucked away behind Metaton's house, partially obscuring the redacted sprite, which might ruin the effect somewhat. Although, maybe Toby thought this would make it even spookier? I can't really be sure. 
It should be noted that in the room order, just behind Naps de Bluck's house and farm, is the previously mentioned pre-bird room, also known as room 123, which is definitely creepy enough for the stable, and it places the stable quite close to the trigger here, in which an unseen NPC asks Frisk to, please do something about the friend standing right behind them with a creepy smile. And, there's no way this next part was planned, okay? But I have to at least point it out. The flag for the stable's behavior is flag 92, and if you open up your save file, flag 92 is located at line 123, which is the same number as this room. Coincidence? Almost definitely. Looking at the flag list, it does seem like the stable flag was created before the line about our creepy friend, though. So even if this was not the intended context for this stable, it would make sense if the stable were located here, as it's a big and grassy space which partially obscures the stable, so that the head of Redacted is just barely peeking over. But, what if we go even deeper? By breaking the fabric of reality and rewinding time itself, we can obtain an earlier version of Undertale, from before Toby implemented the fun events, and made the blue attacks color blind accessible. Here in version 1.00, we can find a secret, secret, triple secret line of code, specifying a second stable, which, when interacted with, reads. It's a stable for snails. A snable. My god. This changes everything. This explains why, in the code, the stable object appears to have been created just after the snail objects and just before the redacted and farm objects were created. It explains this weird, seemingly ignored patch of the farm, with all the loose snails hanging around, and this weird line about the snail being overdue for a second house, as based on the coordinates of the horse stable, we can fit one snail stable on either side of it. It also places Naps to Blook's line about a customer who suddenly disappeared, closer to redacted. And, although I'm sure Naps to Blook was referring to Toriel here, because we know Toriel likes her some escargot, Undertale has a long history of making this sort of tongue-in-cheek call back to draw comparisons between seemingly unrelated story elements, so yeah, that checks out. Putting the stable here also makes it pretty easy to test it for bugs, since it's right next to the key and the save point. So even if I turn out to be wrong about this, I hope you don't mind me using this assumption for most of my footage. Holy Kungadero, that was 900 words just to find the room for the horse stable. Can you see why nobody wants to do a deep dive on this yet? But, I'm sure everything else about this will be straightforward, and... Bibbly bibbly? Toby, why do you have this in the stable code? Why is the variable set to 349382? What, is this the password for the save? I don't even... Redacted is definitely the correct word for all of the codes related to the stable. Like, there are conditions with no triggers, flag conditions with no purpose, and lines upon lines of dialogue that... Well, let's talk about those. The three relevant variables we have to discuss are Flag 92, which tracks how far we've come with the stable Open, which handles the appearance of the stable and Con, which seems to be short for Conversation As you might imagine, Flag 92 starts at zero, as does the open variable as a result, when you first see the stable, it appears to be empty, and when interacted with, it gives the player this dialogue prompt, naming this as a horse stable, and asking the player if they'd like to go inside. Choosing no does nothing, and saying yes gives this creepy line about hearing some kind of sound from inside the redacted. But, the code is non-functional from here. It seems likely that this was meant to update the conversation variable to 1, which would, in turn, also update flag 92 to 1, and set the stable's open variable to 1, although we still can't go inside yet. Once open is set to 1, the redacted sprite will spawn inside it, and the conversation variable will update to 2. I can't be sure if this was meant to be the trigger condition though, because at no point in any of the code does the condition variable get updated from 0 to 1. But, typically, that sort of variable would be updated in the same room as the associated object, because unlike a flag, it gets reset when the player leaves the room. So, for now, I'm just going to patch the game to do that, so you can see what it would have looked like. Now that flag 92 is 1, the dialogue changes. But, unfortunately, for us, it seems like this, too, was redacted. We can see that talking to the stable again in the state does update flag 92 from 1 to 2. 
but without some way to observe the variable, you'd never know anything has changed because all of the dialogue prompts for the stable from this point on are overwritten with this same repeating line of dialogue and some code setting flag 92 to 2. We can see in the stable's alarm code that each time flag 92 updates, it's supposed to connect to a unique dialogue prompt, but since Toby literally X'd out every line here, we can't be sure how this was meant to unfold from here. Nonetheless, we can see that interacting with the trash can to get this barely visible key would have also spawned redacted in the stable and it would have set flag 92 to 3. But, because of the way the code runs in its default state, using the key doesn't do anything, as Toby's edit of the dialogue prompt will just reset the flag back to 2. Hilariously, this does mean we can keep getting the key out of the trash forever, but let's go out on a limb here and assume that before Toby redacted this, this dialogue once you have the key would have updated conversation to equal 3 and make one more small adjustment to fix that. Now when we use the key, the redacted will disappear, and the stable doors will snap open with a noise. And here's where things get very speculative, as from this point on, the code is just completely non-functional. I can see that the stable looks like it was intended to be solid, and it looks to me like when the doors open, it was supposed to stop being solid, so the player could walk through the open doors to enter the stable. But, unlike the snail stable, the horse stable is completely insubstantial so you could always walk through it like it's not there, making this line obsolete. It also looks like flag 92 was supposed to update from 3 to 4 when the stable doors opened, but the trigger to cause this doesn't work, so nothing happens. Although, I can see that if it had worked, this would have been the last flag and would likely have ended any future dialogue with the stable, as once flag 92 is set to 4, it removes the dialogue prompts for this object altogether. But if that's the case, then why are there still four more redacted slots for dialogue? They must be there to preserve the integrity of the code. But what would it have been called for if not the stable? Was redacted gonna appear behind you and ask you to take a four question survey? Was Napstab look gonna ask you why you opened the stable? I have no idea, and it's driving me nuts. I suppose, given the initial question, do you want to enter the stable, the most likely next step would have been walking into the stable and warping the player into the redacted room, which, as mentioned before, just plays this creepy music and says, redacted, in lowercase windings, for as long as you're willing to sit there. The room is very small and feels claustrophobic. The white fading sprite here seems to imply that this is a ghost instead of a skeleton, which might explain why Toby dummied it out. You know, maybe it was sending too many mixed messages about the nature of Gaster. We can add a door transition to the stable to bring us here, of course, but since the redacted room was shuffled down to the bottom of the room list, along with all the other scrapped rooms of Undertale, we can't really be sure how this was meant to work. We can see that the original redacted room contains a marker C, which implies that we got here by moving forward two rooms in the index, and a door D, which moves us back two rooms to return us to where we came from when we try to leave the room. But, since Toby moved this room, attempting to leave while it's in this default state will shunt you into the sound test room before freezing the game, which was most likely not its intended effect, okay? It seems like the sound test room getting pulled into this discussion is an unintended side effect. And, that is it. That is every single thing I know about Redacted. Is this secret foreshadowing for the identity of the knight, Des, Gaster, or the nature of the being trapped in the unused code? A reference to Napstablux's estranged family and their silly little snail farm. Some secret quest that would have unlocked the fun values, entry 17, or some other juicy lore tidbits? I have no idea. I'm still trying to figure out what Bibbly Bibbly means. If I had to take a shot in the dark though, I would guess that this was a scrapped, early version of the Mystery Man Fun event, also found in Waterfall. We can see from the name of the redacted room that it was intended to be somewhere in Waterfall, and in general, it seems to be attempting to hit the same sort of spooky, unknowable, disappearing sprite vibes as the Mystery Man, which would explain why they both seem to make subtle allusions to Gaster. The file name for the song that plays here is Mysterious Room 2, which harkens back to the Mystery Man. But I think that by having the stable just constantly existing in the overworld as a universal piece of the game that all players experience, it would have taken away from that spooky, unknowable mystique. But what do you think? Do you know something I missed or got wrong? Do you think Redacted is related to Gaster? Des? Or some other thing I didn't talk about? 
Let me know down in the comments. Special thanks to Space Corps and Ocean Bagel for the coding help, as well as Molly Stars, who actually just released their own video on the nature of the meta narrative that is Undertale and Deltarune, so go check that out if you haven't already. And until next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more hyperlink blocked.